They are my people. Talk with them. Yeah, got you. I gotta remember that he can see everything we do, so if we try to do something sketchy. Yeah, do they know you're watching them? They know you're watching them? This is our turf, our home. We need not to be ghosts here. Okay. It is you. Must be ghost. Be silent. Invisible. All right. Well, that answers that question. Know the way in? Was told you would. Yeah. Garage in the back. But shh. Quietly, yeah? Oh, yeah. Anything interesting happen over there? Since we are here, all quiet. No one in? No one out? Well, they went out for supplies once. Here we go. And they want us to be quiet, so this will be right up our alley. Hurry, stop wasting time. Why? You get bored? Okay, so... I already see problems. I'm hoping that this is a ledge. I don't know if there's, um... I don't know if that's something we can cross yet. Just keep bulking. Oh yeah, that's animals. Yeah. Hey, I also found out recently that, um, with the smart weapons, they work way better if you actually tag the enemies first. Didn't know that. Okay, we have this ledge, but... a breach protocol here and then we'll do a ping looks like they got turrets and cameras so let's start with these uh five five e nine five five and then i need an e9 i have to do a couple linkages because i need to get down to an e9 with a 1c so i, I can go here and then i go e9 ah oh, where can i get this E9, and then I have to go E9 again. E9, 1C, E9, but I can't connect any of these. Oh, I can go here. E9, 1C, E9. Nope. Holy crap, there's so many. How am I gonna get these guys out of here? Maybe I should be going straight through this middle part. Did these two move that were here? Looks like it. All right, then. Nope. I see. The camionette. 
checking. Right. Come on. Okay, we got to be very careful for cameras. Even though we turned them off, they're only going to be off for a few minutes. Cyan Plastics Shinos. Dr. Havoc and Radon, we've read. Thanks. Very helpful advice. That's something we'll have to read after. See, with this person down there... Oh my god, there's one over here too. Maybe I don't even need to engage them here. We do have a lot of distractions available. I wonder if this can pull. No. Wait, who is that? Wait, what's going on? Who knows I'm here? The extra ice we give you, it is fine for now. So, he knows I'm here. What the hell? I don't like this path that we're on. It's just so out in the open, man. Yikes. We see who this is? No. Who? What the hell? I wonder if I should get up top, but then the people that are up in these uh, little side areas are definitely going to see me. Let's maybe fire off another ping somewhere. Hey, Ram's up by one. Super nice. Man, like this place is swarming. And you're telling me 
I need to get into this middle section. It's like I hear a camera or something. Yup. And someone's coming back this way. Great. Oh, they're all coming. Don't do it. Oh, somebody split off. Oh, and there's another one. Wow. <laughs> this is ridiculous. What? Oh, there's so many. Oh, he was the reflection. Holy frick. Actually, you know what? Now that we see this box here, let's put him in it. Chronicles of Titania. Okay, so he's sitting down here. I don't know. I guess I... Oh, shoot. I guess I am going to have to go down. Not sure how I'm supposed to get into that center section. This is actually. Oh, there. Okay, hold up. Hold up. Different. Okay. It was leading us into that center area before. I see. Okay. Nice closed room. Okay. Oh, it's actually, we even have a better position. Mind you, somebody else is at this van now. I think they're above, though. I'm at the van. Okay, at the van. But no sign of the runner. I see what you see. No chatter. Now, interface with the van. Oh, God. I have to get around the other side of the van.
Oh yeah. Hope the person above does not come down here. Well, I got you here. Mind tell me what we're looking at? My palms are sweaty. map of Pacifica. They hunt Agwe. Who is they? Netwatch. They always out to fuck us. Of course. What are they looking for exactly? Internal data forts. If they crush our eyes, they take Agwe and the entire net. They return to the dark time of Bart Moss. Huh. You probably got, what, web crawlers, code mirrors? We do. They also want them. How bad does it look? I do not know how much data they pull, but their map is no complete. They still not have source validation. Based on what we read, Bartmus is the guy that everyone kind of blames as taking down the net as we know it today. Okay, so what's on me to do? You must reach the agent. Easy now to find him. Look at the map. He is in cinema. Step away now. This isn't your fight. Whoa. Matt. What? Placide, what? Now, God, pushed out. The runner know you are here. Hunt him. <laughs> Can't just scorch him via the net. He's got to be jacked into the van. I cannot piece his protection. You must find him. Face him. Okay. So what do I do once I find him? I will tell you. Cinema. Oh, he's right behind us. The Asian man tries to cut you off. The animals Whoa. be here soon. Pass to elevator shaft to reach the lobby. Left side. I see people dropping down there. You will stay unseen. <laughs> I mean, I'll try my best, bro, but like this place is no. swarming. Yeah, right. But maybe we could. Yeah, fuck. All right. Fine. Let's do this. He's got legs like we do. Oh, crap. Let's do another ping. Yeah, see, they're all like hunting right now. Mine. You see that ugly face of yours? Stay, stay, stay. Cool. Hey, don't be scared now. Whoa! Come on! I swear I won't completely kill you. This is rough. This guy up here is a problem. Hey, don't be scared now. Well, uh, maybe. You serious? Shit. <laughs> Quick, the guy across. Not too far. Oh, actually, we should have taken him on this one. Come on. 
really hope I don't have to like sneak out of here because oh what the turn back they're warning us how do we get in here oh what that's so weird it looked like a mirror Matilda K. Rose. Eyes open now. What's going on? You have company soon. Scan here right away. That bad, huh? Is this the person? Must have a weak spot. She must have a weak spot. You could do a breach. BD 1C 1C. BD, BD, 1C, 5555. Deal with Sasquatch? Is this Sasquatch? Doesn't say. Not working at all. Oh, there we go. This has got to be... This has got to be Sasquatch then, right? Holy crap. I don't know if we can do this quietly. Cyber Realm Malfunction. So we've run into a cyber psychosis, cyber psycho. Yeah, thanks. You must have a ton of armor. Go! I need more RAM! Come on! There 
we go. I think she's had enough. So these cyber psychos, uh, also I've learned that they always just become incapacitated. Oh, cool. Invade him. We need access to their data. Clear? You must first... Whoa. Seed? Must first what? Oh boy. Whoa, hey, easy. Yeah, you easy. What did you do? Well, now we can talk in private. Just severed the connection to the rest of Pacifica. Gives us a little time. Let's go. Any deal has to come quick. Just a second ago, you tried to flatline me. And now you want to talk? Flatline? No, just discourage. But it looks like I underestimated you. Huh. Okay, no more fucking tangents. Fess up. Who are you? Bryce Mosley, Netwatch Special Agent. Can we talk? Had a specter on you, didn't you? Saw and heard all you did. You followed his orders. No idea what the voodoo boys are paying you, but our pockets are deep. So this is like an inside netwatch job. Huh. You trying to buy me out? Not at all. Consider it a counteroffer. Don't gamble your life on the boys. They aren't exactly known for their professional integrity. Smooth They've talker been in Night too. City, what? 50 years, yet still they cling to a tribal mentality. Their distrust of outsiders, legendary. Not interested. Not a money job for me. Just need an in with Mama Brigitte. Voodoo chef. Brigitte and her lapdog T Neptune have been frozen several days now, ever since we shrouded their subnet with ice. And you? Well, you were sent here to free them. Okay, but. Do you know why they didn't tell you everything? Because you're a Ranyan. That's what they call outsiders brought in for special jobs, floor rags. When you're no longer needed, they chuck you. A fate for all Ranyans. I mean, he's going to say anything that he can. You have Brigitte? <laughs> and how'd you manage that? When we took the mall, we knew the VDBs had sent runners. T Neptune reached first to see what was going on. When we iced him, Brigitte dove in after him used him to shield herself. Huh. Tough cookie, that one, but still finds herself stuck. Got anything to back that claim? That the Voodoo's want to set me up? Wanna. They did it already. Soon as you handed over your link, slipped in the Spectre and a virus. Well... Now, talking as if he was there. He's working you. So yeah. obvious it hurts. I'm with you, Johnny. Ask for proof. Besides, I'd know. <laughs> that so? Then please take a look. Run a system diagnostic. Uh, I'm not going to listen to him. I feel like maybe if we run a diagnostic, that could open us up to infection from him or something. Digits flipping fast. Thank God just stick to my plan. <clears throat> yeah, see, now he's panicking. Uh, I mean, as one would. Bryce right, Mosley. What are all the, these things? I don't... Rapid Fire, Roach, Charlie Vane, Mr. Ng. Ho, ho, ho. Well, that ain't good. Either. I thought we were going to, like, physically take him down. He's still here. Hey, V. You all right? Give me a sec. 
You I think like you might have toasted him. Thanks. Wasn't asking. Oh, what happened? The net pig was right. Voodoo's were blowing smoke. Soon as you gave him access to the net watch web, they roasted all the agents. And you. Oh, what? So then, okay, let's Pirate see about this. Swoop in again to save the day. Placide wouldn't have seen that coming. Could be. In which case, you're welcome. That seems pretty insane that he can constantly like resurrect us. Think the voodoo's freed Brigitte? Seems that was their plan. Worked thanks to you, I'd say. After the voodoo's turned you into a fucking kamikaze drone. Yeah, that's that's Who'd dirty. Take a job from us spooky ass voodoo boys. Placide took you for pathetic gutter trash. Someone who no one's ever gonna come looking for. So, what do you think we should have done? So what? I should have spilled the truth? No. We take this to Brigitte. Saved her sorry ass, after all. Wouldn't mind a quick word with Placide, too. Shouldn't let this lie. Head to baddies. Yeah, I'm down. Grumpy motherfucker. Hope he likes surprises. See... I, I wonder what would have happened the other way, because I feel like doing a diagnostic scan in front of him. Oh, yeah, the condom. At least he's safe. Uh, I felt like that was risky, too. I, I felt like we were going for some type of physical takedown. I didn't know we would be jacking into him. Ooh, Sasquatch dossier. Uh, let's see what's on here. Four messages. All encrypted. Regarding case 87625, special authority has been granted to agent blah, blah, blah. Unavailable. Everything's been fried. All binary code. Relic from Evelyn Parker to Bree Diol. Netwatch special agent. If you keep redirecting me to the person responsible, I'll have to find another buyer for Relic. I know you're stalling for time to check me out, but you're wasting your time. All the info you need is what I've already provided. I have access to Relic 2.0, the biochip storing the construct of Johnny Silverhand, and I know it's not some random engram you want, but him. I know it's not some random engram you want, but him dash to contact A. Free deal to Evelyn Parker. This is a standard procedure. We require more information to authorize a transaction for the sum you requested. The people who initially engaged you to seize the chip, who are they exactly? And what is their interest in the construct of Johnny Silverhand? Who led the biochip extraction effort? Who were their accomplices? What are the relics technical specs? This is not a standard offer, so give it a rest with your standard procedure. This is about bleeding edge Arasaka tech. As for who's leading this whole operation, I figured it should be obvious that I am. That's why you're talking to me. And they are the voodoo boys. Another detail you probably knew already. The agent I spoke to last guaranteed protection and a new identity. Once the transfer's finalized, I expect you to hold up your end of the deal. So Evelyn was actually going to... She was trying to pawn this chip off. She knew exactly what was on here. She knew that the biochip had Johnny Silverhand. She knew it was Relic 2.0. And she's trying to sell it to Netwatch. Some type of song, maybe? Weird. So bizarre. Leave the mall. I hope I can just, like, actually leave the mall. Um, let's check these shards that we picked up. NCP, Anatomy of Disaster. This won't be the kind of book that's full of eloquent phrases or elaborate metaphors. I'm not a writer. I'm a cop. Or rather, I was a cop before the mass redundancies. I'm not saying this for money or fame. I'm writing it because I'm pissed off and won't stay silent while the NCPD goes to ruin. Before you say anything, I know we weren't perfect. Night City has never been a safe city, but we tried. As God is my witness, we really tried to keep our city safe, even while we lacked the money, people, and equipment so we so desperately needed. The mayor couldn't have cared less. He wanted to cut costs. Apparently, since the NCPD wasn't profitable, he said at a press conference a day after seven of us were killed by a cyber psycho in Vista del Rey, then why not privatize it? That very same day, the NCPD was transferred into private ownership, all according to plan. Our new chief of police, previously the head of the data term sales department, cared only about one thing, money. He fired half the force, cut down the number of patrols, and ordered those working the streets to drop everything and start writing tickets. It didn't take long to see the effects. The city's crime rate went through the roof. Bodies clogged the alleyways, and the sidewalks were painted red with blood. Meanwhile, the suits at Corporal Plaza were popping champagne celebrating. Why? Because the demand for private security services had increased by a thousand percent. 
Chrome and you, an excerpt from a novel by Anonymous. We are temporary, expendable, replaceable. The sooner we come to realize that, the better. After all, our days on this blue speck of dirt are numbered, are they not? Very strictly numbered, in fact, thanks to this plethora of technology that surrounds us and permeates our bodies. But that's all fine and dandy, isn't it? Just know this. Only a few decades ago, people were still attached to their body as something that justified their existence and foregrounded their identity. Know this. Less than a century ago, implantation was still considered to be invasive. An attack on our fundamental physical connection to reality. And now, your body is only a spare part. Your existence is up upgradable and your here and now is constantly getting outdated. So who are you? You're temporary, expendable, replaceable. Feel that, know that, and you'll regain your freedom. Lovely. Uh, we have this thing called gig in other. NCBD detective will contact you. You will do the following. Go with him to the club. Do what he asks, nothing else. When he's gone, you stay in the club and fucking destroy the place. Afterwards, one of my guys will come to you. You'll get the usual rate plus a little extra if that club's fucking unrecognizable. Huh. Let's check our gigs after this to see. Uh, Dossier Sasquatch. It's been an animals group leader since 2075. She has shown a willingness to listen to her subordinates, but has shown no lapses in discipline nor respect for her command. Physical capability formidable, intelligence average, but her well above average cunning and agility, characteristic of the animals gang, make up for her deficiencies in high level technical skills. Strengths, responsible, task oriented professional. Weaknesses, independence, verging on arrogance, effective leading, previous tasks high. Recommended for current tasks, yes. Yes. Uh, Bushido and Neo-Postmodernism. The Bushido franchise is a litmus test of our time. This groundbreaking film series puts on full display the entire spectrum of American society, masterfully pointing out the greatest problems of the neo-modern era. Live Fast, Die Never was, in its own way, a, geo or a generational manifesto on the affirmation of life. Uh, is this a reference to, like, Fast and the Furious? The use of vivid colors, shaky cinematography, ubiquitous blood effects, and pervasive brain splatter testifies to the extraordinary self-awareness of the director, who once revealed in an interview how he fucking loves it when hot chicks dissect the shit out of bad guys. Perhaps no other concept more aptly describes the underlying societal ethos when Bushido 3 was released. Especially worthy of note is the repetition of subsequent installments of the implant bomb motif One, uh, through the prism of which the protagonist reinterprets reality. One example of this convention's flawless implementation appears in the latest film in the series Bushido X Fade to Black, the scene in which the powerful Goriba disembodies the arm of Jake as played by the transcendent Tim Kelly, demonstrates in brilliant form the duality of the human condition. On one hand, Jake loses a cybernetic arm, a symbol of both his tragic past and the ongoing techno-ontological techno conflict within his psyche. On the other hand, it is precisely due to this dismemberment that Gorira is blown to bloody bits by a sensational explosion sequence and the final disintegration of the antagonist's body into a blood spray of gore. How should this be interpreted? It is a metaphorical cry of deeply rooted despair, a manifestation of the personal transgression. This fragmentation of body could likewise be interpreted as a fragmentation of the individual mind, thus provoking the question, whose mind? Indeed, had everything the viewer seen of Jake's struggle been, in fact, a personified embodied fear, had he not been embroiled in epic battle with a vile monster, but rather only with himself, could the entirety of Jake's narrative been only a manifestation of some cyber-psychotic dream state? Among all the depth and nuance that has defined this franchise since its inception, only one thing is truly certain, Bushido has forever changed the world of cinema. Chronicles of Titania book... Uh, you haven't an idea what you're talking about, the green-haired woman snorted and mockingly smiled. I've visited many worlds, each built on a lie. All. Although this might be the first time I've seen its people so stubbornly close... Clo so stubbornly close their eyes to it. Vassan felt a rage rise inside of him. How dare this woman, an outsider to the utopia of Titania, so harshly criticize a system that has guaranteed the happiness of millions? I just love that it... That a utopia is called Titania. It's just such the perfect, like, stereotypical utopian word. If anyone is blind here, it's you, Visan finally erupted. Titania knows no ingenuity, no scarcity. For the first time in human history, everyone belongs to the privileged class. The woman smiled softly with a mischievous, mischievous twinkle in her amber eyes. Is that so, she asked. In your work at this cannery, why are you unhappy here? 
Hassan forced himself to remain calm, and in truth, he wasn't sure why the stranger's comments had made him so upset. Perhaps it wasn't the foreigner's fault she could not comprehend that humankind had finally achieved the ideal society. Her home, as she described it, resembled a primitive world, one long tainted by the stain of feudalism. In a sense, she was like a child, intelligent, yes, but ignorant and self-righteous to a fault. Must be a group within society responsible for this type of work, Vissen explained. Thankfully, due to the advancements of robotics, the means of production have become fully automated and shifted away from our hands. We now serve only in supervisory roles. So to answer your question, no, I'm not unhappy. The robots do my work for me. Wait, you do know what, the, what robots are, right? Of course I do. We have something similar, only made from clay and stone, the lime-haired woman replied, still with a smug tone in her voice. Very well, your world has done away with work done by hand, but if that is the case... Does that not mean workers such as yourself have lost their former value? Are you suggesting that there are none who govern your progress from above you standing, who determine your responsibilities? No response. The woman's golden eyes flashed as she laughed at Vissen's confused, flustered silence. My apologies, the stranger's lips curled into an embarrassed smile. Maybe you're an equal member of this corpo corporation? But from what I've seen here, nothing about it matches what you've described. Utopias rarely do. Here's the grand opening of Imperial Mall. In celebration of the Grand Imperial's Mall Grand Opening, we're offering 30% off everything in-house today. Today only. Use code WELCOME30GIM to claim your savings now. Hundreds of thousands of products. Can't decide what to buy? Talk with one of the expert sales advisors. Can't carry another bag more? Catch a movie at the cinema. Feeling worn out? Don't leave just yet. Napping pods are available on demand. And don't forget, every purchase you make, enter your name to a lottery for free tickets to the Ferris Wheel and Roller Coaster. You won't want to miss the best view of the Night City's skyline downtown. That is a... Uh, it's a pretty impressive mall, actually. Uh, I do want to check to see... Retrieve the Militech car purchased by the Nomads. This is not the gig that is referenced in that thing where you have to meet the cop. So... Not sure, exactly. Man, we still have so many cool things that we can do here. We can do this fight in Arroyo now, probably. Very neat. All right. Let's um, let's actually level up here. Let's go intelligence. Upgrade the mass vulnerability demon, causing enemies in the network to also take 30% more damage from quick hacks. I really like that, actually. Uh, reducing RAM costs could be good. We saw that in that cyber cycle fight there. Oh, quick hacks can deal crit hits based on your crit chance and crit damage stats. Epic Quick Hacks, 50% more damage to Unaware. Huh, interesting. I think 30% more damage overall is better than crits, but then we will grab this at some point because that seems quite powerful also. Are you telling me there was an entrance this close? That we could have just walked into? Oh, no, maybe not. We're still in the mall. I wonder if I'm going to have to get out of here quietly or... If people will have left. Some time has passed because we were passed out. Ooh. Hey, gentlemen. Yeah, I'm alive. You to talk to Placid? Is that what you want? Be because I can take you. Yeah, at a minimum. Actually, you know what? I don't know. Do we trust this guy? 